These are my confessions. <laughs> But if you guys are interested in checking out some really cool roads, please make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps get us out there and uh, spread the gospel that is Dyna Demos, you know. I'm just playing, but it, it does keep us uh, it does keep us motivated to keep bringing you guys some pretty cool videos. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Anyways, so like I was saying, I rode Sunri Sunrise Highway before. I actually did it the reverse direction that I'm doing it now though because I used to live a little bit farther south. So in order to get there, what I used to do was I would take the A out east and then you jump on the Sunrise Highway and it leads up to, I believe, Julian and then you take Julian back out west and it ends up in Escondido and Escondido is actually where I live. So all I'm doing is I'm doing that entire uh, route reverse and I'll actually post it up here on the screen so you can so you guys can see what I'm talking about it so I actually started it at the top and went down south but you could ride it either direction if you ride it from the bottom up you actually hit Sunrise Highway first so I'm just gonna do it this direction because I got a few things to do today um, I'm actually going to get a tattoo shout out to constant grind my boy check him out at Roseland tattoo awesome dude and he's got a sick Dyna I told you I was going to get you in a video, dude. So I just realized right when I was about to pass all these cars that I actually had a cop behind me. So that kind of sucks because now I'm going to have to follow all these cars. Luckily, my first stop is in Ramona where I'm going to get gas. And then hopefully this cop goes somewhere else and I don't have to follow these cars the entire way. But if you guys just check it out, just look at that freaking view. You do not have scenery like this out in eastern North Carolina. I know once you go west, uh, and when we did that trip, we rode through the Smoky Mountains. It was freaking beautiful over there. We probably did it maybe not the best time of the year just because when we were riding through the Smokies, the weather was absolutely terrible. I think Rod can attest to this and, uh, and Sanchez that we probably spent a good 75% of the time in our rain gear. Even if it wasn't raining, we just stayed in it. So. When some of these guys out here talk about bad weather, I'm like, you don't even know rain. It rains like a little bit here and people start freaking out. Just imagine spending your entire motorcycle road trip in the rain, just miserable. Riding through the Smoky Mountains was probably, it was a good experience, but I'm gonna be honest, I was definitely scared at a lot of the points. And I like to consider myself, you know, an okay rider. I wouldn't say the best rider by any means, but just an okay rider and at some of those points you know I was really glad I had ABS because the roads were just absolutely terrible covered in gravel it was raining and it was so foggy that that Range Rover in front of me right now if I was still on that road I would not have been able to see it so you know look at these corners though beautiful The good thing is I know I'm not going too fast because these cars are in front of me. One of the most important things is just knowing your limits out here on these roads and just not pushing yourself like an idiot. You know, especially when you're riding with other people. I'm riding solo right now, but that's a lot of, that's how I would say a lot of the junior guys uh, end up wrecking is just, they're trying to keep up with somebody. So, you know, and I used to do it too, when I, back when I had an R6. On the straight stretches, you would go faster to catch up, you know, and then on all the corners, you were slamming on your brakes before them. And uh, it's just not smart. So just make sure you know your limits when you're out on roads like these. I'm not even to Sunrise Highway yet, but you guys seen so far how twisty this road is, and I absolutely love it. So I just stopped out here in Ramona. I just rolled through it. I got gas. Uh, the gas station was super busy. I guess I picked like the most popular gas station there is out here. Uh, but it's a nice little town. It's a little farther east than I would want uh, just because of where I work. 
but it's a nice little town and now I'm headed out farther east uh, out to Julian that should be my next stop where I'll get gas way off topic but first person to comment pineapple on this video will get two free stickers sent to them all you have to do is DM me at your address so make sure you guys do that pretty gnarly wreck and that's what I'm talking about when you're out here make sure you're being safe definitely turns your stomach a little bit when you see wrecks that bad I did see an ambulance a little bit earlier so hopefully those people are all right that looked like a pretty gnarly wreck look definitely head-on around that corner you just got to make sure you're riding safe out here and you know even even when you're taking these corners I've I've seen and when I was riding on the tail of the dragon you know some guys going really hard especially in cars man and they were crossing the double yellow right before I rode that road I don't know if I said it in the video but one of the guys who's rode it a few times said make sure you stay away from the yellow and me and Rod definitely took that to heart when we were riding that and we were taking it easy you know we both don't have anything to prove I think I'm only about seven miles away from Julian I think that's what that sign said so that is pretty awesome and I've definitely increased in elevation because it's gotten a lot colder um, as I've gone out east and I've seen a sign back there that said 2,000 feet elevation so yeah it's getting a little chilly luckily I brought another coat and I got these badass gloves from Rebel Reaper if you're wondering keep me warm while I'm riding all right guys I mean it when I say I've gotten pretty cold now it is pretty cold up here I know it probably doesn't look like it is don't let the sunlight fool you it's freaking cold now I'm so sad luckily uh, Julian's only about two miles away now maybe a mile and I'm gonna stop and put on a sweat put on another coat uh, over this because I'm getting pretty cold now uh, I'm probably gonna do a battery swap maybe get a quick bite and get gas for sure uh, but I'll show you guys what oh yeah look at that 4,000 feet now my ears actually popped a second ago uh, but I'll show you guys what Julian looks like it's a really nice look at town if you guys ever come out to San Diego and you got uh, like towards the winter you know you got some time to kill head up to Julian grab some pie they're famous for it and it tastes really good I'm also I'm also going to post this uh i'm also going to post my route uh on a link in the description so if you're curious about what route i took it's going to be in the description all right and as i just ended the last video i pull up to downtown julian that's funny uh there's a gas station i used to always go to up here so i'll probably just go there you know get gas again even though i really didn't ride that far just top off because I don't want to get stuck out here and yeah this is Julian super pretty during the winter This is where I always stop to get gas. So this road right here, I'm taking it from Julian. This is the 79. This is the Sunrise Highway or Sunset. I can't remember right now. I feel like an idiot. 
but I'm gonna take this all the way from Julian down south to the eight. And then once I intersect the eight, I'm just gonna take that back out west to San Diego. And then once I get uh, once I get to San Diego, I'm gonna hop on the 15 and head north uh, back home to Escondido. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record this entire way. Uh, if I'm not talking, I'll put music on it, but this is the highway that I came out here to ride, so enjoy the video. rides not sure what's going on here ho oh, ho that's what it is look at that oh my wonder if I'll be able to get a picture look at that freaking view Damn, look at that view. You can't beat that. Pretty sure the desert is out there. That looks like a lake, but I'm not totally sure. That is insane. This place is beautiful. All right, back, back to it. Gotta be careful, a lot of loose gravel. I was wondering why there were so many cars parked back there. snow on the ground whoa I found it guys that explains why it's so freaking cold uh, I'll be happy to get out of here I'm gonna be honest I am way too cold right now I can feel it in my bones. Pinecone and rock. 
pine cone.
looking because I'm thinking about taking a picture and now I'm like, ah, no, I don't really care. Look at all these tourists. Watch out for idiots. Look for the doggy. This is what I meant by steel plates. I'm not worried about these. This road is pretty. Oh, oh. Those are the steel plates. I don't want to ride on those guys. So the 8 is the windiest highway I have ever been on. Back when I had my R6, now my bike's a lot lighter than this thing is, but uh, we were coming across and it was just so windy. I felt super unsafe riding. So hopefully because this thing's heavier, if it's windy, if it's as windy as it is that, or if it was as windy as it was that day, Hopefully this thing is uh, heavy enough so I won't feel it as much. I'm sorry, my lips are kind of frozen right now because I'm so cold. It's hard to talk. I don't remember the road being this bad though. Who knows? is also covered in gravel there's just gravel everywhere I didn't know there was that this much construction out here when you're riding in conditions like these you gotta be really careful you don't grab your brakes hard Uneven pavement is an understatement. A little bit nicer over here. Not that many people out riding today. I think it's still considered the off season for San Diego, which is crazy. Even though people ride year round they still have what's considered like an off season during the winter which I mean there should never be an off season for San Diego it is so freaking nice here
freaking and here's the eight. Alright guys, so that was Sunrise Highway. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Lego here with Dyna Demos. I'm out.